Hi guys, it's Jessica with Hearts and Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make the t-shirt bag. Yay! Okay, so to save some time, I already cut strips. It could be any size t-shirt. Uh, I find medium works best. This is a large because I was just experimenting. But uh, this is a large and I've already cut the strips. They don't have to be totally even, but just as long as you eyeball it and they're somewhat even. <laughs> so you can do different styles. This one I cut on the bottom and I cut on the sleeves and that will make something like, sorry, that will make something like this, like this one here. So the sleeves will be, and then you just go like this and it's a nice fringy look. So that's what we're going to do with this one today. So I'm going to put my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. So start at the bottom here and start at the edge. And really it's so simple. All you have to do is tie it one, two knots. You tie it fairly tight. Don't worry about uh, getting all scrunched up because we'll work that out later. One, two. Oh yes, eh. silly. Before you start knotting, uh, pull in your strings. Just like that. Doesn't have to be hard or anything. Sometimes I can get a little carried away. <laughs> but just pull on your strings so they look kind of a little more fringy, not so, uh, not so blah, I guess I would say. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect because in the end it will turn out looking awesome, I'm sure. I walk off the earth's new song in my head. They did I Can't Feel My Face. And it was awesome. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we can carry on doing what we were doing. So grab the next two pieces. And sometimes it gets very confusing as to where your pieces went. And Sometimes I actually tie the wrong ones together, <laughs> but it's all good because it works out in the end. You can pretty much just like eyeball it. Some people are a little more anal, but not me. I like the roughage look to some things, you know, when it's handcrafted, it should look like you actually made it and not be all perfect and stuff. I think anyways, it's only my opinion. And it doesn't take very long to do the knotting, so. Oh, 
and as you pull on the knots, the uh, t-shirt strings will actually stretch a little more, which gives them a more ropey look, which is pretty cool. I chose bright yellow today, because I don't have one of those yet, so. And a lot of people like bright colors, so why not? I'm sure someone will buy this bright yellow bag. Some bright shiny person. you're finished with that you want to tug on it just a little tiny bit just to let it out a little bit there we go now we're gonna move on to the sleeves Ugh. so hard to like keep them together here we go. all right here we go I haven't eaten supper yet today and I'm like super hungry. Now we start knotting our sleeves. Two seconds, guys. I have to switch over my laundry. Back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> my craft room is in my basement, so I get stuck doing the laundry majority of the time. There's one sleeve, tug on it a bit. All right, and we're ready for the next sleeve. Almost forgot again. shirts I got at Michael's they were on sale for a dollar each 
I don't buy them normally when they're full price because they can be quite expensive. But uh, if you go to like a thrift store or if you have any old t-shirts of your own, this is perfect to do to recycle them and make them into something very cool. I mean these bags can really carry a lot. I made mine and mine carries everything. <laughs> And finish that sleeve. Tug on it. There we go. So now to put our strap on. Oh boy, that sounded very bad. Now we're going to put our purse strap on. Okay, so this is from the bottom of the t-shirt so you want to save the bottom of that t-shirt and then this is how we put it on just grabbing my scissors yeah so what you're going to do is cut actually you know what i've been doing this see where your first knot is here well, what you're going to do is cut the string in the middle, okay, then you're going to push it through where the first knot is, right here. I can get it, there we go, okay, pull it, pull it through. And then on your other side, push it through right under the first knot. Okay. And then what I do is I take the two ends and pull them together. It depends on how long you want the strap and how short. I like mine shorter so that it's not like hanging down my knees. So I'm only 4 foot 11 so that's why. <laughs> so then you just tie a knot in it like that. Okay. And then you're going to pull it this. Pull it and stretch it so that it has that worn look go alright so now I will show you the finished product this is our finished product put it over your shoulder And this is what it looks like. And you can add beads. You can add beads to just the fringe here, the sleeves. Oh my god, I can't think of anything. The bottom. Uh, there's lots of cool pony beads, wooden beads. Um, I bought these beads. I bought these craft medley beads at my no not at Michael's at um, a store we have here in my town called I Bead, and uh, they have like all different colors and it's uh, just a little bit more uh, stylish than just plain pony beads. But uh, yeah, these are great. But anything with a large hole really, 
any large hole bead that will fit, you can definitely put on here. And it'll make that lovely clackety clackety clack sound. <laughs> Alrighty, so thanks guys for watching and I hope I uh, did a good tutorial for you and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye!